Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to what feels like ages since I vlogged. I hope you're all doing well. I have, I'm honestly exhausted. I've just finished filming three videos for next week's uploads, but it'll be way out of time by the time you're seeing this vlog because this vlog's going live at the second to last week of April, I think. Despite the fact I've been filming all day, I just wanted to pick up the camera. I feel like I've been holding my breath and now I can let it go. And vlogging's just one of those, like although I've been filming sit down videos all day, vlogging just doesn't bother me at all. It's, it's so chill, I could just do it all the time. Which is what I plan to do more of. This vlog is just going to be a springtime home cozy chill vlog. I've got some packages coming that I wanna show you guys. One of them actually has arrived and then I've got another one that is coming later on either today or tomorrow. So I've got some good stuff coming. That sun is desperately trying to come out and it's just cloud and sun all day today I mean I'll take that over rain but we're having a storm at the moment storm in quotation marks because it's just been windy it's just been gusts of wind I'm keeping hydrated and I have just I do this thing once I've filmed so thankfully we've got a really nice big hallway so I have been I use it to put all my stuff outside and I can bring stuff into my filming room as I'm doing it I've also got my ring light out this feels so like youtuber 2020. I've had this put away for ages, but my blimmin' ceiling light has just decided to pack in. So I currently do not have a ceiling light and believe it or not, oh my gosh, that's not a good angle. Believe it or not, all of these lights aren't enough. They, I mean, this is bright, I know, but they aren't actually enough and all of that as well. And I've got to be careful with the angle I film. And then this is the most annoying thing about my house. I love my house so much. I honestly, you know, like everything's perfect. This is my dream first house. But the window where I film from my filming room stares right out to the back of two other houses and unfortunately those flipping people they've got kids and they're always in the garden so whenever I'm filming I have to like close my blind because otherwise I swear like I, I'm a light box you wouldn't understand like this room becomes a light box so I'm just lit up doing my thumbnail like and they're probably just thinking like, what the hell is wrong with that girl? I did actually just have a thought that maybe I could get one of those like stickers that makes the whole window blurry. Thing is though, I obviously want to actually look out. Can you get blinds? Maybe you can get a blind that's like a blur blind. Because I still need that natural daylight. But I don't want like not to be able to see out as well. Anyway, it's been a long day, but I hate having this out because it's so clunky. One of the videos I filmed today was my Timu haul. This is going to be a bonus Jonas clip that I'm going to keep for the next vlog. Uh, this is how I film my Timu thumbnails, right? Just between me and you, only because you're here for the bonus content of the vlogs and I appreciate you very much. This is a BTS. So <clears throat> these are actually the two packages that I've received. They are full with items. But to make the background more dramatic like this, I have ended up keeping a couple of my bags and this is the reality of the setup. <laughs> I've literally just got a candle and those are just empty bags that are... Uh, literally just being used as a filler what you gotta do to get a good thumbnail and this is one of the items that i got on timu it's another olive tree i need to take off like all these stickers and stuff but i think uh, do you know what it would be really nice to replace that pampas because i have just completely gone off pampas now i just find it like meh but i also feel like it's a waste having it there because I'm thinking I wanna replace it with this pampas here for when I film. And I think it would go really nice too because I've got my little olive branches over here so it would make it consistent. You guys are gonna kill me as well but I'm actually sick of this cabinet already. <laughs> like the fact I love obviously all my beautiful, beautiful items I'm so grateful to have in there but I just feel it looks really cluttered now. Like I can't unsee the clutter so I might have to rejig that. But do you know what I mean? Like because this is the frame, you guys literally see this as your frame with a bit of the olive tree in it. I just, it just looks really messy. So I'm thinking olive tree there. I'd like to make this more minimal so it ties in with that I don't know I even thought about changing this round so the dressing tables over here but I am terrible are any of you guys like this where I literally just have to change things all the time sorry it's a bit dark I just have to change things all the time I get so bored so quickly with stuff whether that's fashion 
or if that's the home and honestly the home is terrible I got to change things over constantly so maybe that's something we will do in this vlog I'll definitely bring the olive tree in and sort of play around in this vlog I also want to put away all my Easter stuff that's downstairs there's just a few cozy home updates bits and bobs deliveries hauls I just I'm feeling today I'm feeling this vlog I hope you're all cozied up I am gonna go take 10 now have a cup of tea because I literally haven't stopped talking for three hours while filming and trying things on etc so I'm gonna make a cup of tea sit down and watch some gardening videos because that is like my thing at the moment it just calms me so much and then tonight Andy and I are going down the road to get girt wings again our food this food truck that's in Bristol it's so good it like comes around our way every so often so we are gonna go down and get that tonight and I'll probably film it because it is beautiful beautiful stuff lights off and I have to do a little bit more tidying up and then I need a cuppa oh Jerry boy Hello. The light's behind you, my man, so people can't appreciate how cute your face is right now. But say, we're not too happy because the sun, although it's coming out a little bit here, the sun keeps coming and going. We want the sun! I had a bit of a tragic event with my greenhouse. I will explain that all to you later on when I show you the greenhouse, but... Here is the girt wings, holy macaroni. I got buffalo sauce with ranch and it looks amazing. Tater tots and then we got a side because we're greedy tonight and I deserve it, I've not stopped. This is halloumi with habanero sauce. Ah, and he got the same but he got ranch, he didn't get any spicy on his. And we've got dragon's den on. It's probably one of the last episodes though so that makes me sad but I couldn't think of a more ideal evening at this point. I've still got my makeup on, but I put my pajamas on and I am ready to chill. I'm so excited for this tea. I love a tater tot. Hello guys, it is now a few days later from the vlog and oh my gosh, what a crazy week. I have just finished filming as well, hence the full face of makeup and in like a shirt. I finished work, five o'clock, I then film and I think now it's nearly six. Has it gone six? I have no idea. It's nearly six o'clock. So perfect timing. I've just finished filming the video I needed for next week. And I think a lot, as long as one gets approved, I've got all three done for next week. So I'm gonna get changed right now. I'll just, I'll get back to you in a second. I need to get my comfies on. Cause I don't know about you, but the minute that I'm free, I put on my pajamas. Like the minute I'm done, I'm done. So much better. In Dolly, we trust. Oh gosh, yeah, so I have just finished filming and yeah, it's just, it's been one thing after another at the moment. So I'm so sorry that I didn't pick up the camera in between these vlogs. And also, good news is those deliveries arrived. So I'm gonna show you those now of just a little haul of what I picked up. Right, here we go. Oh, we need to turn that lighting up. There we are. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? Much better. So I have a couple of parcels that have come, one of which you might recognize, but I'm actually gonna start with this top one. These are from a brand called Fytu. Foytu, F-Y-T-O-O, and they are very kindly sponsoring this part of the video. They are a glasses brand, and they actually do prescription glasses, reading glasses, or just fashion glasses, and they asked if I wanted to pick a few pairs, and I was like, yes, of course, because I don't know if you guys know, but I do actually wear glasses. I wear reading glasses. They do actually have the ability, so you can do custom prescriptions with them, even where you've got different lenses and different prescriptions, they can still accommodate to that. I haven't seen what's in this box, so, oh, oh my gosh, they all come so nice in this packaging. They all come in their own individual cases. Now, I got a mix, I think I got one pair of sunglasses, and then I got two or three pairs, no, three pairs then of regular glasses. These are the first pair. These are called the Libor glasses, and do you know what? It's actually perfect timing because I need my glasses right now. I can't. It gets to a certain point at night. I've had my eyes tested, but they say that it, I just need a little bit of support in the mornings and night, and these are the first ones. Oh, what a cute... Why does this look cute? I wasn't expecting them to look bad, but I knew it would look different, and I feel like... I feel like I could get on board with this. Oh my gosh, where's the next ones? These are so affordable as well. Well, these ones specifically are uh, $25, I think. So yes, okay, so these are a very similar style. This is the Noise, Noise, I think that's how you pronounce it. And okay, 
Oh my gosh, I love these. I love how simple they are. Before I move on to these, sorry, I'll just show you. These are actually like matte black and they've got those little chrome detailing on them there. I feel like I look so like, you know, remember when like nerd glasses were a thing? I am so wearing these and these are the Noise glasses and they are shiny, so they're patent and then they have got the little bit of chrome on the side here. I love playing around with glasses. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are really big. I feel like it's gonna take some getting used to because I'm so used to wearing like, these are only from Poundland. They're just cheap ones and they're, they just look like this. So I'm just used to this. But now I look, put these on, I'm like, no, do you know what? I actually, I totally can get on board with this. I'm gonna call out Andy and see what he thinks at the end of this because I feel like he's gonna give me a funny reaction. But yeah, so these I am so nervous for because you remember when I mentioned like nerd glasses? Um, I was so on that trend. I loved it at the time. And when I seen these, I it just made me, it reminded me of them. These are the Coleridge glasses. I like how they all come with the protection on the lenses and they just look like this, but I love the gold. Can you see all that detail? In there. I love the gold. Oh, it's gonna either go one way or the other. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just feel like I wanna go. They're cute. Do you know what I mean? You know when you have you have that look? Because glasses to me are an accessory. As I said, those other two are gonna be practical, but these are just a little bit of fun. And then finally, this pair should be a pair of convertible glasses. So they are plain glasses, I believe, but they come with multiple lenses. These are much easier to pronounce. These are called the Steven glasses, and they just look like this. So again, a, it's another simple frame, and then they come with two different lenses. The yellow, not gonna lie, definitely not my favorite, um, but I'll put those on now. Um, oh my gosh, these are the yellow ones, but I'm not vibing with those, I'm not gonna lie, but these, there we go. All of a sudden, this is actually game changer. This is a game changer because I have not got any reading glasses that are tinted. They are all the ones I've picked up. I gotta say, I think the first ones are my favorite or maybe the second ones. Oh, I really like those. Let me see what Andy thinks. What do you think of my glasses? What do you think? Alright. Do you like them? Alright, they're like bigger I, than you normally have. They're bigger, aren't they? But I think I, I look like you now. Excuse me? <laughs> You're just a little blurry thing in the background, but... I th do you know what? I really, really like them. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Foytu website down in the description box along with all the information you need. They have very kindly given me a discount code as well, which is AmyFY15, which is gonna get you 15% off your entire order on the website. They're already really affordable, so this is just gonna get you that extra bit of money. That was everything that I got at Foytu. And then going on, I did pick up some more items from P. Louise. Now, it was the base's birthday. So if you're not familiar with P. Louise, the original product that she did was the base and it's like an eyeshadow base. So I've, I've never owned it. When we went down to P. Louise, and if you are a fan and you're new around here, I actually went to Manchester and went to the P. Louise HQ and I vlogged it all. So I will leave that linked in the screen here as well. It was so much fun, but I did come into a couple of blips, um, but it doesn't change the fact that of course I love the product. So it was the base's birthday and I placed a order. So I did actually cheekily chuck in here um, what I picked up from when I was there at the P. Louise HQ. So if you haven't seen already, they have also got lip kit in the colors Shape of You and Reveal It All. So they put two items in there. So I showed you that in that video. When I was at P. Louise as well, I picked up the Cheek of It cream bronzer and this one's in Caramelted. And then because I had the cream bronzer, I felt like I needed a cream blush. So I ended up picking up this one, which is in Dainty Delight. I just love the packaging. I'm not usually a blush person, but I get, I've, I've got really addicted to P. Louise, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's become a bit of an issue. So I, I picked this one up. I've gotta say it's very hard to tell, like from the swatches on the website, so I wish I picked this up while I was in store in P. Louise. And then of course, the reason that prompted my order was because it was the base's birthday, they were doing a sale generally, so I did get the uh, liquid blush for a sale as well. But the base, which I was after originally, was reduced to just five pounds. I think usually this is just over 10. I've seen it on TikTok shop all the time for about nine pounds something, but then you've got to pay shipping if you 
only buy so much. Uh, but I picked up, yeah, the original, the base, and I got it in rumor number two, which just looks like this. I really just wanted this in my collection. I think as, as a P. Louise fan, I don't think you can't not have the Pioneer product. I picked up those new bits which came through and I was so buzzing. I'll actually, I'll take you now and I'll show you the mask which I have been really enjoying. And actually, I've been using like everything P. Louise at the moment. So this is the mask. This is it here. Look at that packaging. It's just beautiful. So yeah, the night sleep mask, this one is. And then I do use the P. Louise Skin Eye give it a rest eye cream. I use that day and night. I think you're meant to use it at night as well. And then I do also have the lotion as well, the moisturizing lotion, which I use in the day. I just really like their stuff, not to mention P. Louise is cruelty free. And then, oh, shout out to this product as well. Well, I remember I put this on at night and this is the don't sleep on me, is it? Yeah, don't sleep on me overnight lip sleep mask. I got mine in the scent so corny, which smells like popcorn. So, yeah, they are my new purchases, my glasses, which I tell you what, I am so enjoying right now. I really, really am enjoying these. They, I think they definitely suit me. The more you, it's funny with glasses, the more you wear something, the more you get used to them. Also, house updates. I did say to you about that olive tree when it was in the hallway. So I went out with Nan and I actually found, I went into HomeSense because I was betting that HomeSense would be the place that I could find a really lovely pot just I didn't really know what I was after but I knew what I was after it was one of those weird things uh which is where a home sense is so perfect because everything's so different and I have changed the background of my beauty room you would have already seen this if you're a regular subscriber you would see the setup which is usually here uh and yes I have changed everything around so here's the update oh look at that lovely bit of sun that's popping in there at the moment that looks lovely <laughs> so this cabinet was over here in the corner and I do you know what it was actually a bit of a pain because mirrored furniture I do love it but obviously it reflects so when I had it here I drop a lot of stuff on the floor here when I'm hauling and sitting down and you could see the reflection so it wasn't ideal there and to be honest I did wonder about getting away getting rid of it but obviously it's a really good storage so I thought actually it makes a bit more sense over in the corner I did shuffle over my dressing table a tiny bit so the door drawers sorry can fully open and then I had my little olive branches here and I've just placed them on the book I just think it looks nice really really minimal and I think that you know the olives look nice in the corner over there I did also put up my print here this is from Etsy I can't really remember I'll link it down below if I can find it and then I got the olive tree in this corner so the pampas is gone and I'm okay with that it's all good actually in fact I put it out here in the hallway so it's there and then my little pampas that was here is now in here and excuse the mess of the spare room that's a, like Ikea return turn I got to do we're having hopefully our loft boarded very soon we had a guy come for a survey today so that's why Andy's got the ladder out because we're also getting some more quotes that will be awesome because our garage will then be fully freed up uh, but the olive tree this is what it looks like I freaking love it here and I think as a backdrop like it just frames so well having that little bit of greenery and then actually sometimes you can see this little bit of greenery as well so I just think it looks really really nice I've still got a little nod to my pampas in my little pampas wreath up there and then this is what I was talking about so this is a beautiful ceramic pot that I picked up from HomeSense obviously neutral with this little fleckle in it fleckle speckle I was gonna say flake and speckle in one so it's a fleckle which I do like and it's obviously shiny as well this I think did I leave the price in there I remember now this was $19.99 and honestly it's gorgeous it's meant to be like an outdoor pot because it said it's frost resistant and good for UV rays and stuff like not good for but it, sorry it can stand UV rays but obviously this will be living inside and then what I'm planning on doing actually I'll I'll tell you when I go downstairs because I got to show the other one downstairs oh also this is a update as well so on my windowsill I'm not gonna show too much because you can can see right out to where I live but uh, here's my garage so these are the little storage books that I got on Timu so if you haven't seen I'll link these down below as well by the way if you haven't seen my Timu video I highly recommend you do I'll link it in the screen here it's where I also got the olive tree so I'll link the olive tree and I'll link these two down in the description box along with my Timu coupon code and I've just popped them on the windowsill there with my little roses excuse the scissors and I just 
just think that looks really, really nice. I need this space to be super minimal. It's just, I use it so often for filming exactly like this. So I never wanna have too much stuff in here. So I think, I think I've hit the nail on the head. I feel really happy with it. There's a good balance of storage, but empty space. I also had, obviously I installed this a little while ago, my rail, and I just never really use it, but I have put my dress here that I ended up keeping from the Rita Ora collection from Primark. Again, if you haven't seen that video, I'm plugging a lot of videos here, but it's because my life feels like I've just been filming consistently. <laughs> Let's head downstairs because I want to show you again that olive tree. I picked up that vase and then downstairs in the front room. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here because I've got a slow cooker casserole on at the moment. This is the update in the front room with the olive tree. It might look a little bit strange at the moment because obviously it's a massive pot with a like little thin branch in it. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble! Have you messed up the sofa again going under the blankets? Yeah. Anyway, this is the pot here. So as you can see, it's the same speckled, freckled, speckled, freckled, freckled, what did I call it upstairs? Anyway, same thing as upstairs, same design with the shine and everything, but this is massive, guys. It's so big. And do you know how much this was? It was $24.99. The plan with this one is, so in there, you can just about see that wire. So I've got this little light that is going to be at the base here. And it looks so good because it lights the tree up from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is, I've also bought it in the garage. I've got white stones that are all going to go over the top here. I just need to fill this up. I'm going to fill it up with polystyrene cardboard anything basically just to get the level up and then I'm going to fill this up with the white stones and once that's done it will look so nice with the little spotlight and everything so I will try and do that in this video because you're going to be seeing this vlog on Sunday you're going to be seeing it on Sunday the 20 something 21st maybe is it no 21st it will be yeah because I'm going to brunch with Callum on the 20th so 21st uh yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be done by then, but if you do, it'll be in this vlog. I've got the materials, I just need to find a way to get the base up, but yeah, I love this little nook in here. I think it looks so nice. That is what I envisioned with that corner. So that's the update. I've just got some fresh flowers over here in my white company vase. I always love to do that when I have a bunch of flowers. My mum actually got me a bunch when I was feeling really unwell and I always like to keep the last few flowers uh, so I cut their stems off, revive them and put them in there. All the Easter decor is down. I know I said I was going to do that with you in this vlog but I like I said just went ahead and did it so it's all the little eggs and everything are out of here. I've still got my Dahlia candle and Jerry's doing his zoomies. Oh my goodness my stomach is rumbling guys. That smells so good oh, it smells so good yeah it's a chicken and chicken and chicken sausage casserole with like loads of butternut squash and kale and oh my gosh delicious i have got another delivery here as well very exciting from awesome um but i will be showing that over on my home instagram so if you don't follow me on my home instagram and you love seeing the house updates and everything then definitely follow me over on there i've also got so much to update you on in the garden in terms of my like what i've grown today as well look it's the first day i put washing on the line except now it's all blowing off um but yeah look how much stuff i've got growing i don't know if you guys want me to go through it let me know because i totally appreciate that a lot of people aren't into gardening so i don't want to fill the content if that's not what you guys want to watch but um where is this wind come from honestly it's been such a lovely day today and it's still sunny but there you go and then i've even got my little propagator over here um, you can just about see on that chilli. Can you see that tiny little sprout there? That's one of my cayenne peppers that are coming up. And then I've got two padron peppers that still need to germinate here. So they've been sitting there. But yeah, I'm well into my gardening now. Like, I, so much so, actually. I've got to tell you this as well. Oh my gosh, so I, this isn't even it. I've got so many more life updates for you. But they're going to have to wait till another vlog. But um, I, today, no, yesterday, but today I officially signed the contract. I have got an allotment plot, well a ha half allotment plot to be fair, but I've been down there, it's in walkable distance from my house, like literally seven minutes from my house, it's a half allotment plot which is I think, it's basically like 10 metres by 4 metres, it's a, it's a really big space 
and I'm just so excited about it. Honestly, I'm going to get like a greenhouse or a shed. I'm going to have all the tools. It's going to be a really big project. So I'm going to have to learn to take my time with it, but it coincides really, really good with this time in my life, which I will tell you all about very, very soon. It's not a big secret. I'm not gatekeeping. I'm just yeah, some people believe in the evil eye. I've only just learned about this, but I've always I've always said about tempting fate. So I'm not going to go scream and shout about this. I'm just going to mosey on, enjoy myself as I am, and eventually just tell you guys what what was going on, what the story was in Balamori, basically. I need to get that washing in. Um, but yeah, they are the home updates and. Another really, really exciting update is I recognise that you all are loving my content, that I'm getting more views than ever, so I am upgrading my vlogging situation. I have just purchased a brand new camera, it is in high demand at the moment, so it's not in stock, it's coming I think at the end of April, which is very exciting because in May, Mother and I are heading to London for a lovely three day trip to kickstart my birthday month, which is May. My birthday is the bank holiday weekend and we don't currently have any plans for that, but I milk my birthday. So we, <laughs> the start of May, mum is very kindly uh, taking me to see Abba Voyage and, and darling, we have got high tea booked at the Ritz with champagne. Mum's been and she said it's amazing. So she was like, oh my gosh, you would love it. You have to go. So we are gonna go to London and go for high tea at the Ritz. And then we're going to see Abba Voyage. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge Mamma Mia fan. I love Abba, I love all of the movies. So this will be like mum's fifth time of going to Abba Voyage as well. And she's like, you just, you need to go. Like, you will love it, you need to go. I've been to Mamma Mia the party in London. If any of you are Mamma Mia fans, you just have to go. It is bloody brilliant, it is. So yeah, that was awesome. So I'm so excited for that trip and I want to vlog it. I do, and this new camera that I've picked up, it's the DJI Pocket 3, and I've got it officially from DJI because everywhere else is also sold out and DJI had the shortest waiting list. So I've bought that and it should be coming at the end of April, hopefully, which means then I'll have it for London. So the quality of content is about to just go through the roof because I'll be filming in 4K as well, and I've got an external microphone, so everything is just gonna be that much more better. I was about to say a little bit more better, but you're watching in 1080p at the moment, so we're literally tripling the content quality. Anyway, boring stuff. I've also got another external microphone coming from DJI for my sit down videos as well, so my quality will be improving there. I want to invest back in myself. I want to invest in your guys' quality of watching content. So thank you from the bottom of my heart because you guys make this all possible. So I'm just kind of hoping to put it back in and give it, get it back out again. Uh, and this year, this year is just gonna be flipping brilliant. There are the updates. I got a new camera, I got an allotment plot and uh, I've got new glasses. That's that's every, and new pots for me olive trees. I mean, I live, I live a wild life, honestly. Even more of a wild life I live. Look at my lovely casserole for this evening. That looks delicious. And I'm gonna be putting dumplings in it. These are from, I get them in Home Bargains. I think they're 49p or 45p. And they are so easy. You just put some water in with these and just make little balls and pop them in. And they just elevate a casserole so much. I have ranted on a lot this, <laughs> this evening. So I'm gonna leave you guys to it and I'm gonna pick up the camera probably tomorrow when it is Friday and we're having burger night and we're just gonna have an easy night. I'm working in the day and then we're gonna have a nice evening. I wanna watch a film too. I wanna see if the Amy Winehouse film is on demand because I really wanna watch that. It's one of those times. I've had quite a few of those days at the moment where I'm just feeling so grateful. It's so, oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm just feeling so grateful. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I've just uh, finished editing this vlog, vlog or catching up to where I am now. <laughs> that sneeze that Jerry just made or that like, <laughs> it sounded so bad. Um, 
Oh dear, I'm looking a little less glamorous today. Full face of makeup came straight off after that clip yesterday. Uh, but exciting update from that last one. So yes, from yesterday, this arrived today. So I've got my uh, first DJI microphone, which I've been playing around with. I'm not actually due to film any sit down videos at the moment, but um, yeah. Oh gosh, I need to do a proper face mask. It is Friday, it's currently 4.30 p.m. So I am just finishing up some of the day job work. Uh, I had another really funny email today, which I will also tell you all about once I can tell you about some more life updates that I mentioned that I can't tell you about at the moment. What am I gonna title this vlog? It's literally gonna be like life updates. The ones I can tell you and the ones I can't. <laughs> oh gosh, anyway, it is. There's lots of life updates, lots of home updates, but this has just been me sitting here chatting away. So I hope you all don't mind. I know sometimes we just like to have a good little chin wag and I haven't done that for so long. I've been so focused on sit down content at home that the vlogs have taken a back seat only because obviously I'm on a bit of a strategy with YouTube. It's paying off and not only that, people love the sit down, you know, the Timu hauls, my Primark content, all of my bargain content, so home bargains, Poundland. Poundland is popping off at the moment, I'll tell you that. I am so impressed with Poundland. I need to head back, actually, because I feel like they've got more in store for us. <laughs> Quite literally in store. Um, and yeah, I still didn't tell you about my eyelashes in this vlog, so I do apologise. I'll put that in next week's, uh, next, the next vlog, because I actually need to place another order on the website. But I am actually going to stop ranting on now, because this vlog is... 28 minutes or it'll probably be 30 by the time I've edited this, edited this in but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me I hope you've enjoyed this little Sunday upload let me know if you want some more vlogs let me know if you're excited for the new content with the camera when it comes and I am just very very motivated and I, I I'm just feeling on top of the world thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video ciao